a perversion of justice. Shalom Mordechai Rebashkin was sentenced to 27 years in prison by a federal judge today, and that announcement came yesterday. The announcement comes during Parshas Bullock and Bilam, which talks about the hiring of a professional, a prosecutor, to curse the people of Israel. And initially God tells the prosecutor, don't get involved for the people are blessed. But the prosecutor, Bilam, is insistent. And God says, well, if you're going to get some benefit out of all of this, you're going to get some notoriety, publicity, some fame, some fortune. They'll give you all kinds of talks on the, um, on the circuit, on the speaker circuit. You get $50,000 per speech. Go ahead. And of course we know the tragedy, not the tragedy, but the, uh, the destruction that befell upon Bilaam. And while Bilaam did what he did, he caused untold grief to many tens of thousands of the people of Israel. In the same way, an over-aggressive prosecutor coming with an agenda, the agenda being an anti-Semitic agenda, clearly cl colored by the attacks by PETA, by the trade unions, by candidate Obama, by the governor of Iowa, the, the feds attacked the Rubashkin plant as if they were enemy combatants. Rubashkin sent them an attorney who had worked with the feds in Texas to avoid a similar confrontation with SWIFT. Why did the feds attack a kosher meat plant in Iowa and did not do so in a non-kosher meat plant of the largest meat plant in the country, SWIFT, why did they not attack them when there were more illegal aliens in SWIFT than they were in Rubashkin's plant? Could there be an anti-Semitic coloring to this? There's a background of PETA attacking the kosher industry. There's a background of an unsuccessful union wishing to bankrupt the Rubashkins, having been rebuffed by the workers many times. There's a background of an anti-Orthodox Jewish rag called the Forward, which printed up the false and evil allegations against the Rubashkin family. And then there's the gullible American public, as well as the gullible Jewish American public that accepts allegations as if they were fact. The truth will emerge in the future. Somewhere in the future, someone with the courage of Emil Zola, who will not be Jewish, will accuse the federal prosecutors in this case of corruption and bias, prejudice, anti-Semitism, will accuse a federal judge of incompetence, hatred, bigotry, and a sentence that is beyond the guidelines for sentencing, beyond anything that had ever been handed down for such accusations. The crime that Rubashkin was accused of in business standards is a joke. He was accused of not illegal alien hirings because they could not find anything that stuck because they did evaluate the documents. If people got through, it's because they had good forgeries. And according to American law, if the documents look right, you have to hire them. There was no juvenile workers there. They were completely exonerated in those charges. There was no cruelty to animals. 
everything was done up to the standards of the American uh, Health Department. And all of the attacks on the Rabashkins were made by ill-meaning people. The question is, will you accept the words of Bilam, the prosecutor, or will you have the courage and the sense to stand up and to protest what has been excessive government force, a vile system of defamation that takes allegations as if they were facts, a judge that obviously had political motivations in the process, a system that apparently works only against an Orthodox Jew trying to earn a living. The question is, will you believe Bilam, or will you stand up for Shalom Wertheim?